In the previous videos, we have been doing some exercises uh, finding the inverse of a matrix A. So we found this algorithm where to find the inverse of ma uh, matrix A with entries A, B, C, D. Um, it is enough to get the scalar 1 dividing the determinant of A and then switching A and D and switching the sign for B and C. Of course, if you have a 3x3 three three matrix, everything changes, right? Because it's not so easy and everything is more complicated. I'm going to, to get the inverse I'm going to get the inverse for A here through a very theoretical process. Of course, there are several other ways to find the inverse of a matrix. And later, in later videos, we will see the very handy and very quick ways. Now, I'm going to do in this video a very theoretical one. Feel free to jump this video if you're not interested in what we do in this process is we put here matrix A, 1, 0, 2, 2, minus 1, 3, 4, 1, 8, so that's matrix A. And here we put the identity matrix, 1, 0, 0. Okay, and now what we do is um, we perform some uh, Gaussian elimination till we get, so we are going to do all the, the possible operations, till we get the identity matrix on the left side. So our goal is to get this matrix here. Okay. Once we get this result on the left, the matrix that will be on the right will be the inverse matrix. Okay, of course, sometimes you have to perform a lot of operations to get here. Okay, first what I will do is line 2. I'm going to subtract line from line 2, minus 2, line 1. I'm going to multiply this by 2 and subtract here. And line 3, I'm going to subtract line 1 multiplied by 4. OK. So I already have a column here and zeros. OK. So that will be my, my guiding here. OK. So now I have to, to do the same for this one. So I have to get this one 0, right? And then exchange the sign here. And that I will be OK, because I'll have a 1, 1 on the main diagonal and 0 here. And then I'll, I'll see what I do for the, for the next. So here I'm going to add these two lines. OK, that's really easy. OK, so this is easy, right? If we add those two, so 0 plus 0 is 0, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, so I reached my goal. OK, minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1. OK, so now I already have a 0 here, 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 I'm okay. I, I only have ones on this main diagonal. I'm okay too. So now I have to think um, um, probably the best the, the best first thing to do is to change the, to multiply by minus one this line here. okay. So if I multiply by minus one this line here, I'll get a plus here a plus here, right, and a minus one, minus one, really easy, okay? 
okay so I'm okay here right I already have uh, a very pretty diagonal here and now um, I have to perform some operations here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this line with this one okay so that would be pretty cool because um, if I add this to right I'll be getting a zero here and zero plus minus one it will be minus one I think I'll, I'll have a, a pretty cool stuff here I think that was really handy right because zero minus one is minus one one minus one is zero okay so I'm getting my goal right I have one minus one zero and I'm pretty close right okay um, now what I have to do is I think the best strategy uh, here is to multiply this line by minus two and add with this one right so if minus two plus two I'm getting to get a zero here okay so I'm pretty close from my goal okay okay let's do it so zero plus one is one zero plus zero is zero and now minus two here plus two that will be zero minus twelve plus one minus eleven two plus zero two two plus zero two okay so I'm nearly getting this I just have to change this sign here right I think that's my last step so I'm going to multiply this line by minus one right so this will be plus one minus four and plus one right so this is one and we don't need this sign here okay done right because we that that was our goal so we got from here right we put the identity matrix here and our matrix a here we have been performing a gaussian elimination little by little we got the identity here right the identity is perfect here so this matrix this matrix will be the inverse of a okay and now you can check you just pick um, just pick matrix A, pick the inverse, and see if you get the identity. Okay, very long, very theoretical, um, lots of calculations, very careful calculations, you see, because one of the temptations here is start dividing everything by four and by two and then you get a lot of fractions here and then all your calculations get really uh, messy okay so you have to have some um, experience in doing this sort of calculations 